Well, Jeno Mohozi Kainerugawa has finally been rejected by NRM people. I have the details. Well, in other news, Remad Namakula's husband, Dr. Hamza Sebunya, had a meeting with President Museveni, and I'm going to tell you what they discussed about. A very good morning. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And we have actually hit 15k subscribers. I really want to thank you so big time, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. But remember, our target is 20k subscribers. So in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, going to the details of the stories I got for you this morning. Another accident happened yesterday and nine people were confirmed dead as of yesterday and several others injured after a Fuso truck overturned in Bukomasimbi district. Now, the victims were open vendors from Nyendo in Masaka city heading to Bukomasimbi for weekly market. Now, according to eyewitnesses, the overspeeding truck was carrying at least 50 vendors and their merchandise. The driver lost control of the truck leading to the accident. <laughs> Now, the injured are admitted in Masaka Referral Hospital and Villa Maria Hospital. The dead were identified as Katumba, uh, Sauda Nantongo, also known as Mama Benja, Serunjoji Musiramu, uh, Paul Mulindwa, and Abdul Mugera, among others, all residents of Nyendo, Mukungwe Division, Masaka City. Now, the police spokesperson, Greta Masaka, that is Muhammad Subuga, attributed the accident to reckless driving. <laughs> This is the latest accident to claim several lives in this month of May after a link bus rolled in Fort Porto early last week killing at least 21 people. Now, the rampant accidents have left more questions than answers in the country where a poor road network and poor mechanical condition of the vehicles remain a concern. May their souls rest in peace. Now, in other news, NRM youth leaders under the umbrella of the 1986 generation have called upon all the young people within the NRM party to reject and distance themselves from the Muhozi project. Now, they say Uganda has never been a project and will never be one. Uh, according to their spokesperson, that is Jamir Kaziwe, he says they cannot look on when selfish people want to take state power using their privileges, money, and then destabilize our country. Jamir Kaziwe also says Uganda right now has a lot of issues to concentrate on, like the skyrocketing commodity prices, the increasing number of accidents across the country, and many others. Uh, finally, this team called upon the leadership of UPDF to take action and arrest General Mohozi Kainerugaba because what he's doing right now is treasonous and he should first retire from the army before involved in partisan politics. Now, Jamir Kaziwe also called upon all Ugandans across the country to mind less about the Mohozi project because, come what may, Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba will not succeed his father. Now, in his own words, he said, All the lovers of NRM, President Museveni, a peaceful Uganda, and NRM youths, we ask you to distance yourself from the so called Mohozi project. So it seems NRM is getting divided. There are people who are behind Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba and others are saying, no, Uganda is not a kingdom. We must not allow this. Anyway, those are the NRM youths under the umbrella of the 1986 generation. I don't know what you think, but the comment section is right there for you. Now, in other news, uh, recently, Raymond Namakula's husband, that is Dr. Hamza Sebunya, had a chat with President Museveni in State House. 
Now, Dr. Hamza wasn't alone. He was actually with a group of entrepreneurs based in India, and their meeting with President Museveni was aimed at discussing investment plans that will apparently position Uganda as a gateway to Africa through investments in environmentally friendly industrial parks. Now, according to reports, after that meeting Dr. Hamza and his team had with President Museveni, they later on had a delicious meal in State House and President Museveni promised that he will be meeting them again soonest. But I have seen some people on social media saying that it was Photoshop. No, guys, it's real. The man and his colleagues had a chat with President Museveni in State House. Eh, eh, stop your negativity. <laughs> and other people are saying that Rema Namakula must have changed to NRM because her husband seems to be so close to the big man in State House. And of course, we all know that Rema is a Bobby Wine diehard. So seeing the husband in State House, it kind of makes some people think that Rema will convert or has already converted to NRM. But for me, I have told you the main reason why Dr. Hamza Sebunya and his team met with President Museveni. Actually, it wasn't about politics. So those who are trying to drag politics into this issue, please relax, take some water and have a chill pill. Anyway, that's the latest news I got for you this morning. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly do subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Remember, I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. Thank you.